This is the entrance to the Tintenturm. We inaugurated this uh, in 2018. We have exhibitions in there. We're working together with the university here. Then there's the, the shop. When we walk up here, we will see there's a new shop that we created. And we also have um, the archives where we keep all the treasures of the past and have all the old check out in a products and uh, signages and so on. Yes, this is the main entrance now. Um, and the shop as well. Yeah, and then you arrive directly to the shop here. Okay. So then it's not, I think we have to check if we have to put on more light. Ah, I see something. What's that? What's that? What you see here. So there the, is this decoration, and here it's saying FB, that was um, Fritz Beindorf, the owner of Panikin, so the son in law of Günther Wagner, who took over the company after he had married the daughter of uh, Günther right. Wagner. And that was the family then running the company in 1913. So this part of the, it's the second part, the first one was in 1905, and the second part in 1913, and that's when. He also uh, created this uh, historical hall and the entrance here. So here sometimes you see the logo by the pelican bird um, and also some other um, things which are, it's, most of this is coming out of the Christian, uh, I'm sorry if you say mythology, so like the, the resins, very special. Oh, super, really. Thank you. Uh, Hello, Hi, I'm, yeah. yes. Hello. I'm Willy. Sal. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Willy. We walk okay. in here and... Absolutely. Historical... Oh, yeah. Wow. If we put on the heating for us. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. It's an old conference room, which was built in... The opening was in 19... 13. This was made for salespeople, conferences, and so on. Pelican was founded in 1838 and the official date was the 28th of April mm -hmm. because at that date the first price list was published. And this is a, we have the original here and this is a picture of the original price list from the 28th April of 19, uh, 1838. A short assortment and uh, the main products was inks and colors. Photography was founded in uh, 1873, mm -hmm. and that means one year later, later, no pictures was available at that time. That means all pictures you have to paint with colors, mm -hmm. and all things you have to read was written by hand. That means it was a big business for inks and for colors all over the world. Wow. So this, Karl Hornemann was the founder. And he started in uh, this year and his father had a, uh, a small shop for colors and inks. And his father was a teacher of the children of the King George V. And then Karl Hornemann started and when we go around you can see his face and his body. This was the founder, Karl Hornemann. 
He started in a very small village nearby Hanover. It was called Groß Munzel, mm -hmm. short Munzel, no, big Munzel, <laughs> Groß Munzel, the German word. And after some years, it becomes too small. And please come with me. And he bought uh, a place here in Hanover mm -hmm. and he built his first factory. And this is one of the pictures of the factory. It was nearly three kilometers far away. Karl Hornemann was very successful and he needed people to help him. And one of these people was Günther Wagner, which is over there. Okay. And a long time the, the Pelican was branded with Günther Wagner Pelican Werke, Günther Wagner Pelican Factory. And Günther Wagner has a family crest and in this family crest they have pelicans. Okay. So, and he was a very good businessman and he thought we must to have a brand mm -hmm. and his idea wa was to, to name the brand Pelican and the logo for the Pelicans it was coming from his family. It was a fam the family cr crest. Cr crest. And he was very successful too and he needs to have uh, new people and one of these people was Senator Fritz Weindorf. Okay. And he was a very, very successful uh, businessman and the family Weindorf was the uh, owner of the factory until 1982. Mm -hmm. And uh, Fritz Weindorf uh, was a was a son-in-law? No, son-in-law, yeah. Okay. He married Winter the Wagner. oldest daughter of Günter Wagner. Winter Wagner. Yeah. Okay. He made the company international. He founded the first uh, factory in, in outside of Germany in Austria, in mm -hmm. not in Wien, but in Eger, which was a small town in, in uh, Austria. And then he went to, to, to Wien mm -hmm. because in that time, the, the school people, the school children in Austria have to learn paint. And Pelican was offering painting colors. So his idea was, oh, we need to have their factory because the distance from Hanover to Wien, they don't have uh, UPS or so on. <laughs> they have to bring the by, by horses or so on. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. So he make a factory in this area together with Günther Wagner and the brother of Günther Wagner was uh, the head of the factory and the small company in, in here in Hanover becomes a little bit bigger and when we uh, go over there you can see the next picture here and this wow. the old building was closed and they built they moved it. it's a little bit bigger and here Günther Wagner Hannover and Wien and Vienna. But the area. Where was this factory located? This was in Wien? No, in Hannover. So this was in Hannover. In Hannover. Okay. But not here? Not here, at five kilometers okay. far away from here. And you can see the, the area was full of, of buildings. Now, 1898, he, they were, Günther Wagner and, and uh, Beinhoff were looking for a new place. Mm -hmm. And they found it here at this area. In Hannover in Hanover at this place and the building was started in 1903 mm -hmm. until 1906 and when we this was the the beginning of the the foundation of, of the, this building yeah. where we're standing right here. yeah okay and no cars was available the, you have to bring the the materials with small trains by horses mm. to the places where you need it and they started and over here the ground was very difficult very difficult a lot of sand yeah. sand and water and the architect has to make a special plan to make the the pressure possible for this ground and this is the first the, the first area of the, the building and they are built this the second like one. What they call vaulted ceilings, but like you're saying, right. under, okay, under, yeah. under yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is ah, where amazing. we are standing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, and they put a floor here in this, but to, to, to bring the pressure yeah. in, the, in the floor, they have to make this. Wow. It was, when it was opened, the largest building in Europe 
which was made in this kind of construction. This was the largest at that time? At that time, wow. the largest in Europe. When you see, this was uh, the party for the, the, the first uh, part of the building, and this was Senator Fritz Beindorf, his wife and two of his children. And all the people from the, the town and from the, they are taking hats. <laughs> the first part of the building you can see here and it is still there. The left tower, the right tower and in the middle there is a restaurant. Yes, you, you, we ate there yeah, yesterday. yesterday. And the, the red stones are outside of the building are only for, for the ice. That means for decoration. Just concrete behind yeah, it. Yeah. You have yeah. the pelican name that is yeah. still stands to this yeah. day on the smokestack. And this tower was necessary for the water for the steam for the, machines. For the water yeah. coming down. And yeah. we, we ate right behind this window yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They make a lot of things for decoration. Let me say this wonderful tower, the pelicans up of this tower. And after, I, I, in, in the... Next pictures, I can, you can see some decorations inside of the building. This was too not high enough. Later, they have to break for it because for the trucks. And at that area, there was a, a small lake. Mm -hmm. And on this lake, they have uh, two pelicans. Mm -hmm. And they are swimming okay. there. Okay. <laughs> when the, the company was opened, uh, we had here 397 people which were working. Mm -hmm and because they need energy and so so we, they have these steam machines at that area you are sitting yesterday mm -hmm. at the same floor mm -hmm. this seems to be in a lower floor in the lower floor where the trucks are bringing charcoal yeah. and this is a storage for the yeah. charcoal yeah here this is the room that's a restaurant now yeah yeah okay and there they had three steam machines and when we go over here, this is uh, the right tower, and this was the car hall, the garage, the, the trucking, uh, the, the trucking trucks, uh, truck docks. Yeah. And at the first floor, they had some showers and bathrooms for the people who, which was working here, but because at that time, not everybody had a shower at home. Mm -hmm. So they, they can, one time a week, mm -hmm. it was possible for the uh, workers to to have a bath, have a bath. Yep. during during the working time that's what we do in yeah. our office <laughs> okay <laughs> we have the same policy <laughs> okay <laughs> so it was much like a uh, from what i understand too it was, a, it was it was like a living and community space for a lot of the workers that were here yeah and this is uh, the entrance area here is a hotel located in this this is a uh, the window behind oh, your right, sitting yes. and at that time uh, at that area the the goods were packed in in such kind of wooden boxes, boxes to to send it all over the world yes and, and this is mainly ink in these boxes and and, paint. and uh, ink and and painting colors yes okay. yeah at that time and later we have uh, nearly 3000 people here in the factory mm -hmm. and it was necessary to have a doctor because on a production at that time it was a little bit dangerous for the people. Nobody has a, a mobile phone, a cell phone, yes, of course. and the, do the, the doctor from outside was coming with the horse. So we have a doctor here, and if something happens, it was a short way to go to the doctor, or the doctor can, can come to the, the people which was damaged, let me say. For the older women, we have a head a rest room mm -hmm. that means during the, the time from 12 to 1 mm -hmm. they can the older one they can lay in a bed or uh, what is yeah, legal like a cot, cot to, to take a nap yes. to take a nap mm -hmm. or can sitting there and and they have to work very hard at that time yes. and it was necessary to to sit down and and make a break way ahead of its time taking care of the employees yeah. Mm. Yeah. with the rest area and we have one more example we had a kitchen please have a look on this special decorations gw Günther wagner mm -hmm. it was in the kitchen and they were cooking here mm -hmm. 
for the people and they have vegetables every day vegetables mm -hmm. potatoes and meat because they have to work hard mm. and and they have to eat a lot <laughs> yeah. more than today maybe and when we are going over here over there you can see a lot of people are, are eating in the cafeteria <laughs> what's the name mm -hmm. this is a, a small picture with the ingredients of of ink which are let me say uh, uh, special inks which was made by pelican which was made for uh, people who are it was a document like a legal yeah know, yeah, yeah waterproof yeah yeah and, waterproof and, and document and light mm -hmm. uh, uh light fast of ink mm -hmm. yeah so it's like there's a uh, uh gallus thing like that's the iron gall that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The type of ink that yeah. was produced then to be a um uh you know permanent ink yeah this was a production area for for inks in big bottles okay they are producing ink wood wood barrels like wood, wine? Oh, yeah yeah wood barrels at that time wood barrels later it was made from metal uh, metal barrels but at that time it was wood barrels so how much of the factory was dedicated to ink production 10% 20% of the complete area was for produced inks. for inks yeah okay. yeah and when we go over here you can see the girls which are placing the ink in the small bottles mm -hmm. by hand not by machine in this big bottle here is the ink and with small parts they put it into the glasses and at that time on every picture where people are working you see 15 till 20 people at one picture a lot of people are working at that time and not so uh, many machines. machines. This girl is making uh, the opaque color uh, from by hand, mm -hmm. these round parts. And over here you can see an area which these colors were, were produced. Mm -hmm. And you can see we have on the top of the room one kind of engine and from there with leather parts, the engines nearby the people were angetrieben. Yeah, moving yeah. machines. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it is what's very difficult to work there, coming with the hairs in this kind, with the fingers, and this is, was the reason why we need a doctor. Mm. Yeah, it, it was not it was like today. Here, these girls are putting each color in, in these, these are the boxes, the color boxes. And there, every girl had one color in, in his hand mm -hmm. and putting on every box a red, a red, a red, a red one. And the next girl is the yellow, yellow, yellow and so on. No machine at that time, made by hand. And also 20 people at the picture. And this is uh, the factory for, for fountain pens. Fountain pens are produced by us since 1929. Pelican bought a patent from Mr. Kovac, which was a... The developer of the different uh, mechanism. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he offered it and Pelican bought it and it was a very big success. Everyone was writing by by with ink by hand mm -hmm. at that time and they need a, a safe product and the Pelican I think this was really the first safe product because I can show you other products at that time since 1929 until now we are producing this kind and this type of, of mechanical it's proven and itself to last that long yeah absolutely yeah. very minor changes i have one question hmm? do you still have this phone? no <laughs> mm -hmm. that's i don't yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but we don't know where it uh, is that's great it, huh? it, yeah, yeah and this is a upstairs area which was located in this room where the shop is now Okay. Yeah. If you like it, the first paint boxes, one of the first paint boxes. Güter Wagner was still there. And, uh, That's the paint box today. and this is a development of the... And as it progresses yeah. to the right. 
So if you like, we can go over the special area. Sure. It's not it, normally it's not open for for visitors, but if you like it, we can go to to show you some. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So please come in. Thank, Thank you. you. This was the original one and this was uh, the first brand logo with the four small birds. With the four chicks. Yeah, and now we have one over there. This yes. is the actual one. Ink cartridges and, and uh, yeah, refills for, for, for ballpoint pens. So this is uh, one of the old lamps you can see, which were located in. You in... see the Pelican yeah. logo. And behind you, this is a picture of Günther Wagner. One of the pictures of Günther wow. Wagner. Yeah. And this is. Uh, we have some Verkaufsdresen, a counter display, a historical counter display with a, with a. Oh, there's that Austria 1000. Yeah. Year. Yeah. We were looking at that in the. Uh, that was part of the collection that was in the safe at the factory. Yes. Okay. It's a that's very rare. Mm. That's a real one. Yeah. Non-prototype retail packaging. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. This is one of the very famous ink bottles. Everybody is asking us yeah. to reproduce this type of ink bottle. It's amazing. His, the design was from, from Wilhelm, Wilhelm Wagenfeld. It was a very popular designer. You know Bauhaus? It's, it's a, uh, yes. Yeah, and Bauhaus, Bauhaus yes. And, and Wilhelm Wagenfeld was one of these Bauhaus designers. Yes. And he made uh, this, this design for, for Pelican. State, they're still active. Right? Yeah. So here have, we have some historical products which are very important for collectors. The first Toledo, for example. And there are some r really rare products and we don't have it in safe. We have it here. <laughs> we can go over here to have a look on some... We have not so much space wow. which we want to have. Some historical displays for inks, for gluing. This is a part of a Treppenhaus. Oh, of the staircase. Yeah, wow. upstairs, yeah, with a pelican. And there we have a historical pelican. That's a part of a crest, it looks like. Yeah. And this is a showcase of the history of the pens from 1929 until. That's the one we yesterday we Six. saw the picture yes. hanging. Yeah. Out yeah. Yeah. This is the original. <laughs> wow. And now we are Jens and I we are preparing from nineteen hundred and fifty six nice. until now. Then we have here special colours for painting ceramic and porcelain, for example. Uh -huh. It is from eighteen hundred and ninety two. Painting colours from eighteen hundred and ninety. And here we have some, some displays, presentation parts, and I will show you a very special one. You can see this is not fixed. Aha. And this is not fixed. And it's coming from the 50s. And when I put the en energy here inside, it's working. Wow. <laughs> it's a shop window decoration. Probably didn't make that noise in the beginning. <laughs> so, is this a typical display that a, a retail store would have had? Yeah, yeah, for shop window decoration and and Beautiful. and for inside. Yeah, this is made out of ceramic. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the packaging of the. Pen. More inks, and this is a typical bottle which was made from Wilhelm Wagenfeld. You saw outside. In house. Yeah. Oh, very old packagings 
Sorry? Unique, I'm sorry, a lot of people are looking for unique bottles that make it easier to fill fountain pens and that, to me at least, it looks like you could dump the ink into the reservoir in the yeah. and then be yeah. able to yeah. and Look, fill it's it. A, <laughs> yes. But it's, it's a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. At the first step, you had to put the bottle in this way right. and then in that way. And then you can open it. And then you can open it. If you do it in the wrong way, let me say so, and then and if you open it now, the ink is coming out. Ah, okay. So you have One to. One of the reasons why we said we. Not you have to at first put it in this position, the then air. in this way, and then you can open it. The sign is <laughs> Pelican for anyone who's writing. For, for, for everybody. Who's everybody. Uh, Oh, wow. These are the historical ones in different shapes. This is, a, let me say, the standard shape. And we have special inks for, let me say, for shakes. This was a document safe um, ink. Shake, yeah, shake, shake. Yeah. Yeah. And we have right, uh, ink for clothes. You can write your name inside of your clothes and oh. then you can wash it when you send your, your, your children to a in the camp or, or yeah. so on. Then I have one or two documents for you uh, in English. That means this is it's really historical documents. This is a let me say a flyer, historical flyer from 1930. And what is this uh, state? Again, the fountain pen for every hand. 1900, 12th November 1930, and we have the complete area is full of, of these historical documents, and we have in 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 Forum a service for for historical pens, mm -hmm. and in let me say 80 percent of damaged pens we can help the people, mm -hmm. and in the 20 percent which we can can't help, we have a specialist, and we give gave his address to the end users in that case and he will help it in 100 percent so i have one one more important document if you like it henry ford yeah, yeah. yeah? <laughs> henry ford was writing to mr wagner to mr wagner and this is the original document from 1935 with my name which you have so kindly forwarded to me well that concludes our tour through the Tintin term and I thank our host Willie and you're welcome Jens. you're welcome though. thank you Jens again thank you're you, welcome you. taking us pleasure. through a, a history of, of Pelican and uh, how it came to be and, and how it brought to the modern era that it is today and thank you guys for tuning in and as always, stay inky, my friends. Take care. <laughs>